What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute full body alphabet workout. So grab a set of dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up guys? I hope you're ready for this 50 minute full body workout and as I stated in the title it's going to be an alphabet workout. I'll let you know what that means when we get started. But first, I wanna give a big shout out to Ann Bender. She's been here since day one, and the shout out today goes for her working on her strength and bumping those dumbbells up to the 10 pound dumbbells. So I always tell you guys, keep challenging yourself, right? Ann moved up to the 10 pound dumbbells, and she did so with proper technique, with the dumbbells that she had, getting stronger progressively, okay? So always challenge yourself to bump it up after you get that proper technique down. Ann, awesome job. Thanks for being here every single day. All right, let's get started with a quick warm up and we'll go into jumping jacks first. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm gonna work on a pretty good warm up here for you. We're gonna do total body warm up since our workout is total body. Full body, I should say. Good, three, two, one. All right, take it out, hands up over your head. You're gonna lean. And lean. Pull those wrists over. So what the alphabet workout is, always trying to get creative with you guys. I know here in Charlotte, North Carolina in the US, our teachers are out for the summer. Kids are out for the summer. So I thought, why not do a little celebratory workout? Shout out to all the teachers, by the way. <sighs> I cannot tell you how invaluable teachers are to everyone, right? But the alphabet workout is every single letter of the alphabet. Let's go into butt kicks as I jabber. Every single letter of the alphabet today is gonna have an exercise attached to it. So we're having 26 exercises, each one starting with a different letter of the alphabet. We're gonna roll through that one time. Each one we're gonna go for one minute, and then we've got 30 seconds rest in between. Okay, so for example, we're starting with A, arch over crunches, B, bicep curls. So we're gonna move all the way down from A to Z together. Three, two, one. All right, take it out nice and wide with your feet. Turn your toes out just a little bit, 45 degrees. And let's go down nice and slow. Wanna open up your hips here. We're gonna start with an arch over crunch in a plie squat position like this. So I wanna open your hips up, stretch those adductors out in here. Take it nice and slow. Good. All right, give me two more. There's one and two. Stay right here up top. I want you to bend your arms to 90 degrees and rotate your torso. Pull your abs in, there you go. Try not to lose your balance. <laughs> Do I have any teachers here watching today? Working out with me today? <sighs> I have a lot of friends that are teachers. You guys are underappreciated, seriously. All that you do for those kids, big thank you to you guys. All right, seven on back to the back of your mat. High kicks, you're feeling this one in the back of your leg and your hamstrings. Good job, should be getting a little looser each time you kick. Good job. All right, one more each leg, here we go. And two, good, there we go. All right, nice wide stance, we're gonna hinge the hips, let's work the glutes a little bit. Reach the hips back, squeeze your glutes to bring them back forward. Rock back into your heels, squeeze the glutes forward. Next time as you bend, I want you to reach your hands forward, pull back in when you come back up. There you go. Reach those glutes way back, squeeze it in. Reach and squeeze. By the way, I forgot to mention before we started, my dumbbells that I have today, 
are eight pounds. Okay, let's cross your arms over your chest. Eight pound dumbbells for me today. Always grab a weight that's suitable for you. Like I was saying when I was congratulating Anne, technique is the most important. So if you're down at the fives and your technique is good, you bump to the eights, it's just not all the way there. Stay with the fives, master those, and then challenge yourself to slowly incorporate those eights. Okay, there will be exercises that obviously you'll have to stay down on. You know, we can't all do every exercise with our heaviest weights. So just work on progress. All right. So go ahead and grab one dumbbell for me. Your first exercise, we're starting up at the top with the letter A. It's gonna be arch over crunches, okay? I know you guys are loving these standing abs, so I'm gonna give you a little more of that. For one minute, you're gonna start up top. We're gonna bring it down into a squat, crunch your elbow down, arch over, crunch to the other side. Ready? Let's go. Up and down. Good, now I want you to squeeze your obliques. There you go. You've got one minute here, one minute for each letter of the alphabet. And we're gonna have 30 seconds rest in between where you can stay moving, give me a light jog, and I'll show you what we got next, okay? Since we're not repeating any exercises today, I wanted to give you plenty of time to transition, to get ready, to grab the weights that you need since I'll be demoing every exercise as a new one today. Squeeze and reach arch over. 20 seconds. There you go, over 15, 14. Good job. Keep squeezing down. Four, three, big pull, two, one, and rest. Great job, your next exercise is gonna be a bicep curl, okay? I'll show you that, but we can stay moving for this 30 seconds. Knees are slightly bent, shoulders are back. Okay, you're coming up, keeping your elbows locked in, right at your ribs, okay? We've got 15 seconds, so let's just stay moving a little bit. Keep your heart rate up. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Pull your shoulders back, let's curl. And I want these to be slow on the way up, slow on the way down. So there's control eccentrically and concentrically. Good, if you notice from the side, my elbows are not coming all the way up here, right? They're staying at my ribs. Bring my forearms up. There you go. All right, last 30 seconds of your bicep curl. We're moving down to C. You guys have any guesses for what C is? Keep breathing. We're doing curls right now, so it's not curls. <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. Good. Nine, eight, seven. Keep the shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Drop your dumbbells down. If you guessed C for curtsy lunge, you are right. We're going for the curtsy lunges. Dumbbells are down by your side. If you're using dumbbells, if you're modifying, don't worry about the dumbbells. Kicking that leg backwards and diagonal, and we're gonna switch, okay? 10 seconds, you wanna stay moving here. Let's move around, keep our heart rates up. I'll try to keep my pants up while the, as they fall down today. Three, two, one, here we go. It's a good problem to have. Loose pants. All right, one minute of curtsy lunges. Do you wanna make this a little bit tougher? Hands up overhead. Okay, you have that option. This is also a pretty fun workout to kind of get creative with yourself. If you're traveling and you're looking for ways to format a new workout, I told someone the other day, just write down your favorite five exercises, set a clock for 30 minutes and go for it. This is another really great format. Think of the alphabet, think of an exercise for each letter that you wanna do and just finish the alphabet. There you go, 10, nine, eight, seven. You guys have any guesses for D? Three, two, one, and rest. 
If you guess dips, you are not right today. <laughs> Next week, I do wanna bring the bench in and do a little bit of work on the bench or the box. So if you have one of those, get that ready for next week. Your D is gonna be deadlift, Romanian style. Okay, we're gonna go single leg, deadlift. All right, keeping that leg straight. If you're modifying, just take it regular, two foot on the ground. Squeeze the glutes, reach the hips back. Two, one, let's go. So this is more of a strength workout today. Tomorrow, however, will not be a strength workout, so you've got that to look forward to. I wanna give you guys a good mix of strength and cardio each week. So you have days where you pay attention to your muscular development, and then you have days where you pay attention to just burning some serious calories, getting your heart rate up, working on your cardiovascular conditioning. Okay, it doesn't always have to be about burning the most calories, and it shouldn't be. So today, not about a max calorie burn, it's about muscular endurance, muscular development. There you go, we've got about 12 seconds left. Whatever kind of deadlift you did, just keep rocking. There you go. Three, two, one, great job. All right, what is your guess for the letter E? Come on down to the mat, I'll show you. It's elevated, E is for elevated sit-ups. Okay, so you're gonna leave your legs up in the air, gonna reach up, place your dumbbell on your legs, go back up and grab it, okay? 12 seconds, nine, eight, come on down. <sighs> Big deep breath, leave your legs at this 90 degree angle. Three, two, one, let's go. Place your dumbbell there, or if you have a med ball, you can do that too. Elevate your feet. Good, there's a lot of lower ab engagement in working your abs like this where your feet stay up. All right, so that's my goal for you. Good job. 25 seconds left. If you're modifying, just keep your feet down and give me just a regular sit up, okay? 15. 10. 9. 4. 3. 2. 1. And rest. Great job. All right, we're down to the letter F. F is going to be for front raises here, okay? Alternating, if your weights are a little heavier, if they're a little lighter, go with both arms at the same time, okay? 15 seconds, you can stay moving here, give me some high knees. I'm gonna grab a drink really quick. All right, here we go in four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Front raise, right out front. Mix it up between one arm at a time and both arms. If your dumbbells are a little bit lighter today, and you can maintain this two arm lift the whole time, go there, okay? Pull the abs in tight. Make sure you're not bopping your hips to get your dumbbells up. Everything stays tight, you're only moving your arms. Control up, control down. 30 more seconds. Here you go, there's a slight bend in your arm, okay? And that assures that you're basically not using your elbow joint for all the support out front. You're really using that anterior deltoid or the front of your shoulder. All right, five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, finished up with F. The G is gonna be goblet squats, okay? so. Dumbbells are here right at your chest. You're gonna sit down. Goblet is just the style of hold that you're using. So we're just holding right at your chest. 15 seconds, you're gonna go goblet squats, okay? If you wanna stay moving, let's do that. You got 10 seconds. All right, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Three, two, one, 
Let's sit down. Squat, stand. One minute here. That's it. Up, down, and up. Right at your chest. And this just assures that your chest stays up. Your butt drops low. Good job. 30 seconds. It'll be a little bit of a Pilates style move up next. We'll just use one dumbbell at a time per leg. It's an H, so you can probably guess what the muscle that will be involved is. 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 5. Last one, two, one, rest. Great job. All right, your next one. Come on down onto all fours. Place one dumbbell behind the crack of each knee. Okay, or the bend of each knee. <laughs> okay, you're gonna squeeze your hamstring closed for both legs. Pressing your hands into the ground, you're gonna lift and lift. Okay, so the hamstring is curled, squeezed the whole time. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Actually, let's take 30 seconds per leg. There you go, squeeze the hamstring tight. And I want you to lift your toe to the ceiling. That's it. 15 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other leg. That's it. Toe up, squeeze tight. You got four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Go up and down, up and down. Keep squeezing that calf to the back of your leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower. It's all about control for the hamstring. Great job. Try to get your quad parallel with the floor. Six, five, three, two, one, rest. All righty. Any guesses what the letter I is for? I is gonna be for Inchworm push-ups today. Okay, so starting at the back of your mat, you're walking out, full extension, full plank. One push-up, and you're walking back to your feet. Keep your hands on the ground, so I don't want you standing up. If you're gonna modify, walk out, drop to your knees, walk back up in, okay? Two, one, one minute of inchworm push-ups. Let's go. Walk, 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 push-up. Keep your core nice and tight on these. Also, if you're finding that it's hard to get back up to your toes and you're having to bend your knees like this, that means your hamstrings are really tight. Yeah. You mean like this? Oh. So y'all are probably wondering why I'm in here. I don't know how she keeps, oh, how you think while you're doing this. But anyways, I'm here because we made this video the other day to post yesterday. And after we uploaded it and exported it and everything, we got flagged that it looked like someone else's video, a pretty famous YouTuber. So we just wanted to get the video up, so we're just replacing the part that they said looks like theirs. Oh, I really need to stretch. But I'll give you back to Sid. Here she is. Two, one, rest. All right, come on down, back to the um, mat on your back. J is gonna be for jackknives, okay? I'll give you the option to use a dumbbell. Okay, so you're gonna lay it down flat. Dumbbell stays over your chest, up to one leg, and switch. Okay, eight seconds, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Toe down, toe down. Exhale. Great job. 15 seconds and you're halfway there. Keep rocking, try to keep the same pace for the entire one minute section or time period. 
30 seconds, here we go. Down, down, come on. Upper body is up first, right? Don't bring your legs up and then have nowhere to go. Upper body and then legs. 15 seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, great job. Jack knives are done, so we're down to the letter K. I'm gonna grab a drink really quick. All right, taking one dumbbell. If you have lighter dumbbells, you can grab two. K is gonna be for kicks. Okay, so we're gonna start with one dumbbell at your chest, alternating full extension, kick, kick. Okay, not a kickboxing technical move. I just want your leg fully extended. Let's go. And as you kick, pull your abs in. So it's a total body move. Kick and kick. If you're modifying, take the dumbbell out of it. Reach back, reach back. Okay, this is another time where you can tell if you need to work on your hamstring flexibility. Okay, if your leg is bent here, that means you definitely need to work on the hamstrings. Twenty seconds. Kick, pull. Good job. Ten seconds. Pull the abs in. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Whew. All right. Grab some water. Thirty seconds rest. Your L is going to be for lateral raises with the arms and the legs. One side at a time. You're gonna take a dumbbell up and a leg up. Here and down. Here, down. I want your leg and your arm moving at the same speed. Okay, here we go. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let's lift. Down, up, down, up. Now pay attention to your torso. It's not tilting sideways, is it? None of this. Okay, keep it straight. Pull the abs in. Lift the heel. Feel that glute engaging. You've got shoulders and glutes here. Great job, great job. 30 seconds left. Lift the heel, lift the arm. Good, should feel a burn in the side of your glutes and your hips. 15 seconds. Good, eight, seven. Three, two, one, great job. All right, grab some water. Your M is gonna be for my very favorite exercise. You guys, if you've been working out with me, you know what that is by now. Mountain climbers. Okay, somehow we're gonna get through this. <laughs> Mountain climbers, you're gonna go, first 30 seconds, legs are gonna go straight up to your knees, okay? Right here. Last 30 seconds, they're gonna cross opposite knee. If you're modifying, take the hop out of it. Just drive one knee up at a time. Ready? Let's go. Keep the abs tight. Keep your shoulders right over your hands. There you go, 10 seconds. Then we're gonna switch to opposite knee, opposite elbow. Two, one, all right, let's go. Cross, cross. Great job. 15, come on. We got it, we got it. Pull tight, let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Five, four, three, two, 
one, rest. Oh. <laughs> Those mountain climbers. Okay, grab some water. I'm gonna give you one minute rest here because we are officially halfway done with our alphabet. 13 letters down, 13 to go. <sighs> okay, great job. So you're in. Moving on to the in, we're gonna go narrow squats. Okay, in 30 seconds, legs are gonna be together. That's what the narrow is for, just the stance of your legs. Hands are going down right out front of your shins. Pay attention to your back. This is what we want. This is what we do not want, okay? Flat back, pull the shoulder blades back. Squeeze the knees together as you sit your hips backwards. <sighs> okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Sit, hips go back, dumbbells go forward. Now pull your abs in. Good, narrow stance, here we go. Sit, stand, good. Exhale on the way up. Pull the abs tight as you sit. 30 seconds, let's go. Sit and stand. Great job, come right up onto your heels. 15, Whew. great job. 12, 11, 10, six seconds. Give me a couple more. Four, three, two, one. Great job, come on down to the mat. You've got 30 seconds. Take just one dumbbell with you. 30 seconds at a time. We're gonna go oblique crunches, so a little tiny movement. Legs are bent, they're stacked up with each other. Bottom arm is out front. You're gonna reach up to the ceiling with that top dumbbell as you crunch your obliques in. Looks like this. Okay, not a huge movement. 30 seconds in, I'll tell you to roll over to the other side. Two, one, let's go. Reach, relax. Think about getting your ribs down to your hips. Down, squeeze high, down. Great job, 10 seconds, and you're rolling to the other side. Five, four, three, two, switch it over, no rest, go right into it. Great job, lift and relax. Great job, 15. We got eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Great job, rest. All right, your P is for pistol squat punch. A little bit of alliteration there. Two Ps, and you're not going all the way down to the floor. Okay, no butt to the grass, okay? Take your dumbbell right out front, and one leg at a time, you're gonna alternate every time. You're gonna kick one leg out forward, as you give me a half squat. Okay, just go as low as you can control. Here and back. Here and back. Ready, let's go, one minute. Pull the abs in tight. Sit your heel, or sit your butt back over your heel. That dumbbell is here to counterbalance the weight. If you need to modify, throw your heel out front on the ground and just sit that other leg down as low as you can, okay? You're only depending on one leg at a time, whether your foot is in the air or it's on the ground. And punch back, punch back. Set your hips back first and push. If you're modifying heels on the ground, still give me that punch forward, okay? Good job. That's it, 
two, one, rest. Great job. Okay, 30 seconds rest here. Your cue is gonna be a quad extension lean. All right. So if you need to, go ahead and double up your mat. You're holding one dumbbell at your chest. Feet are flat on the floor with your abs and your glutes tight. You're leaning back, pushing your feet to the ground to push you back up. Okay, come on with me. If you want to modify, take the dumbbell out. Arms are nice and straight. Push your feet down into the floor to use your quads. Okay, notice my butt is not dropping towards my shins. Hips are staying fully extended. Lean back as far as you can and push. This one's all about control, so don't worry about going fast at all. Modification, take the dumbbell out. Just go as far as you can. Good, push those feet down into the floor. 15 seconds. Good job, four, three, two, one, great job. Have a seat on your mat. Your R is gonna be good old Russian twist, okay? Two levels of Russian twist. You can keep your feet down. Still give me that declined position with your upper body. If you can, lift your feet up, okay? We're at letter R, so we're close to the end. Whew. Here we go. Seven seconds, give me a big deep breath. Nice tall spine, exhale and lean back. Two, one, let's go. Anybody else working up a pretty good sweat right now? I'm right there with you. Great job. Last 30 seconds. Drop your heels if you need to. Keep twisting your chest. That's the main goal, a torso rotation. Or drop the dumbbell. Okay, 13 seconds. Six, five, Two, one, rest. Oh, I couldn't breathe at the end. Okay, 30 seconds rest. Whew, this next one is gonna be the letter S. You guys have any guesses? Sit up and press. All right, so two dumbbells here, if you can. Laying it back in 10 seconds, you're gonna go straight arms. There's another S, straight arms, sit up. Press up overhead, okay? Keep those arms nice and straight. Ready, let's go. Roll it down, roll it up. Okay, so there is no slamming down. To modify, take the dumbbells out. Keep your arms up straight and reach over your head so your biceps are beside your ears at the top. Over your chest, sit up, over your head. Great job. Exhale on the way up. Good job, 30 seconds, here we go. Good work, come on. 15 seconds. Nine, eight, three, two, one, rest. And just when you thought your abs were tired, we're down to the letter T with toe touches, okay? I wanna keep this one mostly strength-based today, so we're gonna stick with strengthening the abs here. Toe touches, your legs are up over your hips, heels over the hips. You've got one dumbbell, crunch and crunch, okay? Not a big range of motion, but a strong strength movement, strong pull into the rectus abdominis or your six-pack muscles. You'll feel it mostly in the top. 
two, one, let's go. One minute. Now the slower you can go on this one, on the way up and on the way down, the more beneficial. So go slow. Good job. 30 seconds, control it down. Come on. That's it. We've got 19, 18. Good, you're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. 13, 12. Don't slow down yet. Let's go, let's go. Reach up to your toes. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, giving your abs a short break. And I mean short, pretty short. We've got one exercise and then we're back to the abs. U, the letter U is gonna be underhand row. Okay, so flipping your palms forward away from your legs, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips. So slight bend in the knee, bending here. Okay, see how my hands are hanging straight down from my shoulders? I'm gonna drive them back so my dumbbells come to my ribs. Okay, two, one, let's go. Think about your shoulder blades here, okay? There's a difference in this and this, right? Pull the back muscles, not just the biceps. You're not curling to your ribs, you're rowing to your ribs. From the front. Great job, stay focused. Last 30 seconds. Great job. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Good, 15 seconds. Down, row. Down, row. Great job. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're back down on the mat for the letter V. And that's gonna be V-ups. Okay, starting with your legs down on the floor. Arms are up overhead. You're gonna come up into the shape of a V. Hold for three, two, one, go back down, okay? Don't forget that three second hold. That challenges you to be in control of your abs. Big deep breath, here we go. Two, one, let's lift. Three, two, one, relax. And up, three, two, one, relax. Up, two, one, relax. Modify, just give me a sit up. Leave your legs down. Three, two, one, relax. Relax. Come up, three, two, one. If you're leaving your legs down, still give me that decline position. Three, two, one. One, relax. Three, two, one, relax. You've got 20 seconds, pull your abs down. Let's go. Two, one, relax. 13, come on up. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Go slow on the way down, time for one more. Up, three, two, one, rest. All right, great job. Whew. 20 seconds, we are down to the letter W, okay? You've got two options. I don't have a wall here. If you have a wall, I want you to go for a wall sit. Just sitting your back against the wall, sinking down into a squat. If you're like me and you don't have a wall to sit on, I want you to go windshield wipers, okay? Legs are gonna be up, hands are down on the ground. You're taking your legs over and back. Okay, again for the abs, let's go. Up and over. Great job. It's all about control. Keep your legs together, I don't want you lifting like this, okay? Let them roll over, pull back up. To modify, bend your legs. 
same thing. Roll them over, pull back up. There you go, 20 seconds. I'm gonna modify here because my mic is in my back and I don't wanna cut it out again. So I'm gonna keep my legs bent. If you can, keep your legs straight. 10 seconds. Hold on, little microphone. <laughs> I don't want it to cut out again on you guys. Three, two, one, great job. Come on down. <sighs> All right, actually, come on up, sorry. We are at X. All right, so, if you saw the thumbnail image, my body was in the shape of an X. That's what we're gonna get to. Nice, wide stance. I'm gonna squat down here, snatching my arms out to the side. I want you to keep your hands facing forward. Okay, if you get here, a little harder for your shoulders. If you get here, even harder for your shoulders. So I want you to keep your palms facing me. Okay, let's start down in the squat. Ready, here we go. Squat, open. Down, squat, open. Bring it right back down to your chest and then unfurl, okay? Like you're unfolding. Open and back down. Good. We'll call this one an X snatch. Dig your heels down into the floor, extend your hips, extend your shoulders, extend your elbows and your knees. Okay, they call that triple extension. All three main joints are fully extended at the top. There you go. 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, last one, rest. Okay, come on down to the floor. This one is gonna be for your lower back, upper back, and glutes. Okay, you're gonna go in a Y position, Superman. Okay, what that means, your knees are together, your ankles are together, hands are out, thumbs up position. Okay, engaging your glutes and your lower back and your upper back, you're gonna lift. Okay, so my arms are at the top of the Y, my legs are at the bottom or you can leave your legs straight here and come back down. Two, one, let's go. Thumbs up to the ceiling. Hands are out wide. Dig the hips down, squeeze the glutes and lift your chest up, okay? Come on, we got 30 seconds. Up, up, down, down, down. Good job. Seven seconds. Good, two, one, rest. Okay, very last one, we're at the letter Z. It's gonna be a zigzag squat walk. Okay, you have the option to use a dumbbell holding it at your chest. I'll show you what we're gonna do first. Squatting down at the back of your mat, you're gonna step, step, step. So you're touching your heels, stepping back out. Same thing backwards, okay? If you wanna go with the dumbbell at your chest, go ahead and grab it. Whew. We've got 90 seconds on this one, the very last one. You know I always have a finisher, okay? Ready, let's go. Step out, out, out. The goal is to stay low for your whole 90 seconds. Zigzag across, across. Tap your heels and step back out. Now pull your abs in. I want your butt low and your chest high. And you can't do that with an arched lower back, okay? First 30 seconds down. Let's go on to the second 30. If you need to modify, take that dumbbell out. Keep your hands here. Zigzag across your mat. I'm gonna go back with my dumbbell. Stay with me. All right, last 30 seconds right here. 
Let's go for it. Stay low, butt is low, abs are tight, chest is up. Zigzag across. There you go. Drop it even lower for the last 15 seconds. Woo. Here we go. Down, down, down. You got six, five, three, two, one, and rest. Shake your legs out. Amazing job. Thank you for working out with me today. We're gonna get a nice long cool down in here. I wanted to give you a nice long warm up and a nice long cool down because we did a lot of different things today. Okay, full body and we really hit the full body. Okay, so I wanted to give you ample time to warm up, ample time to cool down. Before you head out today, make sure you click the subscribe button and like this video if you liked it. Also, share this with a friend that you have that's a teacher and tell them that you appreciate them. Or share this, with a vi this video with a mom who has kids that go to school with a teacher, okay, or a dad. Share it with anyone. It's a great total body workout to take with you wherever you go, okay? So I wanna keep helping more and more people, and I can do that if we all just keep sharing these videos, helping more and more people realize that fitness doesn't have to be super complicated, okay? <sighs> Take deep breath, bring the soles of your shoes in together. Let's start your cool down. All right, grab onto your toes and I want you to push your chest up and through your biceps. Just close your eyes for a second and exhale. All right, relax your back. Reach forward now. Let's round the back out. And relax your neck. Lean over to your left side. Let's arch that arm over top. As you look up to the ceiling, I want you to feel this all in your lower to mid back, okay? Lumbar and thoracic portion of your spine. Okay, and you can kind of adjust where you feel that by the way you lean your chest and your arms. So if you feel it more here, stay here. If you feel it more when you open a little more, go there. Everybody's uh, spine, body musculature, all different, so go to where you feel it. Okay, switch sides, bring the arm up first and then arch it over. For me, it feels good to look up as I let my arm fall over top of my head. Okay, so go to where you feel the best stretch in your mid to lower back. Some people feel it more this way. Three, two, one. All right, stay here. Take your legs out to the side. Drop your elbows down in front of your thighs and push your chest towards the floor, okay? And open up those hips, stretching out your adductors in here, your inner thighs. Here you go, just breathe. This cool down is just as important. Take your left leg and put it on the inside of your right leg. Left shoe, right leg, and reach over towards your toe. This cool down is just as important as your warm up, okay? What it's doing is moving some of that lactic acid out of there that was produced as we created these little micro tears in our muscle fibers, okay? We have filaments in our muscles called actin and myosin. They're interlocked, okay? As you start to work out, they start to have many breakdowns, okay? Little micro tears. When that happens, lactic acid kind of shoots in there. And if you don't cool down and stretch these muscles out and relax them and elongate them again, it will stay in there. And that's where you get sore, okay? So I really always emphasize the warm up and the cool down. Okay, we have to get those muscles and the fibers in your muscles ready to act in the way that we're gonna act by doing an active warm up or a dynamic warm up is another word for it. And you gotta cool them down, let them get back to normal, ease some of that lactic acid out of there with a static stretch, okay? The cool down stretch. I'm gonna be posting a really great stretch for you guys on Sunday. It's called your rest day deep stretch. All right, so make sure you check that out. Lots of new stretches on there, lots of different ways I stretch your body. Flip over onto your stomach for me. 
Okay, so take advantage of that on Sunday or whenever your rest day is, if that's tomorrow or the next day. Take advantage of that stretch. I'll link it at the end of this video. No, it won't, because it won't be posted yet. Just kidding. I'll link another stretch video there, though. <laughs> so stay tuned for it on Sunday. I felt really good after recording that one. Twist your shoulders left and right. And let me know what you guys thought of this workout before you head out. Like I said, next week I'm gonna be incorporating a plyometric box or a bench or a set of risers, anything to stack up that's about 24 inches high. Okay, so if you guys have one of those, let me know in the comments below so I'll know that's for sure a good workout to give you. If not, let me know if you can head to a gym and get access to one there. Reach your arms way out forward, and as the clock rolls down to zero, I want you to dial back in to your mind, okay? Think about how proud of yourself you are right now. Pull your abs in, come back up to a tabletop position. Slowly make your way back up to standing. Straighten your legs. Walk your hands back to your toes, one vertebrae at a time. Pull yourself up, 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 up. And remind yourself, how great you feel right now, okay? This is the feeling that keeps us coming back for more. This totally finished, totally full of positive energy feeling right now, okay? Be proud of yourself. If you had to modify, if you needed to slow it down, if you need to take an extra rest, or if you were able to step it up and jog in the 30 seconds rest, or give me some burpees at the end just because you felt like it. No, I'm just kidding. But just be proud of yourself. Whatever level you're at today is not the level that you're gonna stay at forever. Always be striving for progress, like Ann Bender did. She strived for progress, got her technique down solid. Now she's advancing up to those 10 pound dumbbells. Always accept that challenge when you feel ready. Slowly integrate a new challenge every day, okay? That's why I'm here as well. Like I said at the beginning of the workout, I'm gonna link a stretch video for you right here. And then I'm gonna link the subscribe button right here for you. So make sure before you head out, stretch and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share this video with your friends. See you guys.